one owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com, and what I've got here for you today is a beautiful one owner, 70,000 original mile Cadillac Cimarron. And like I say, it's a one owner car. It's in beautiful shape. It's my Beverly Hills Cavalier. Um, look at that, like a baby Seville. Very nice car. Everything on it's very clean. A couple dings and stuff, and I'll go around it and show you all that up close here in a minute. Um, other than that, it's just nice as can be. I'm going to give you a once around, and then we'll look underneath real quick before it gets too dark, and we'll go on test drive and all that good stuff. Like, comment, subscribe, friend me, all that good stuff you do on social media. Um, this is my Beverly Hills Cavalier, and it's just beautiful little car. Kind of funny back in the day, buying a Cadillac that was this small and everything. And now it's just kind of ingenious to get a good run little economical car like this for the kind of money they go for. That's all loaded, leathered out, you name it. Okay, let's look at this underneath before it gets too dark. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. 2800 motors, great motors, look at the tranny pan. Just clean as can be. A little patina where your undercoat came off of some of this. Um, everything's there. Now look at your spoiler panel still here and everything. All intact. This is beautiful. Um, these pieces that notoriously give out, I replaced. They're not the exact same color. Show you these. Look at these tires. Brand just, look at that. Brand is um, Tiger Paw Uniroyals. Yes, sir. Um, beautiful underneath. All the factory undercoat is still there. Like I say, tranny pan, everything just clean as can be. And tires. I love these rocker panels on them with the stripes. It's pretty cool. And the chrome, and the rack, and the top, and the lights. I, I, I dig these cars. Did I, did, I, did I say that in part or in whole or something? Well, that gets you underneath it on the side of it, all that good stuff. And that is the car. Other than that, I'll go ahead and show you up close. This dingus just keeps walking right behind me. Jeez, are you joking me? Rather than go the other way, he's gonna pop the fence. Huh. Here I am trying to just keep it on the down low. OneOwnerCarGuy.com Not even that good at climbing the fence. Okay, let's go down the side and check this bad boy out. There's a little piece they have here. It clips on. And that's not there. Um, there's some fading on the front and the clear coat. And the hood is faded. Now, it's not all chipped up though. Amazing. There is some little tiny rock chips, a few, but it's just faded a bit. Down the sides, just straight as can be. Small crack there. Ding here, ding here, ding there. And dent there, as I say ding, dent there. Let me show you a different way here. Ding. He kind of caught something, scraped it just barely, but he caught it there. Um, this piece is straightened out. And you can take the door panel off and get a paintless ding guy to straighten it out pretty good. I don't do anything like that anymore. Sometimes they get them just 90% perfect, and then about 30% comes back. So then I feel bad if that happened to you. Crack in that piece. Um, when you paint the car sometime in its life, you could match it. Uh, but I did find them. They, all, them go on all of them. Um, scratch right there. Yeah, look at that. It's a nice car. Classic hood ornament. And same thing here. A teeny bit of a bend right there. And going down the side, there's a little scuff. Double ding will do you right there. Ding, ding, ding. Little dings. And a dent right there. A little bit lighter um, fading on the trunk lid. Um, and it's a beautiful car. 
neat thing about this one, no rusted out fenders and stuff. It's in great shape. If at some point you decided to, couple ding, to paint it, well, cool. Right now, I don't need it. I think I showed you them. Chrome's in great shape. It just don't need the paint, um, but it sure would look nice all decked out. A couple little scratches. Top's in beautiful shape. Heated rear window. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the car in full now. Uh, maybe we'll do a test drive. Go look at the inside. Yeah, there's a little bit of a push in right there with a ding and just a little bit of a pushed in gouge. Well, oneownercarguy.com. Like, comment, subscribe. All that good stuff. I like that. Um, other than that, man, we're going to hit the road and you know what? We will hit the road. However, in the meanwhile, might just pull this bad boy up and be able to clip out of the sun. Just, oh man, really? That's perfect. Okay, that'll do it. Just a little bit more. Now that light. Okay, well. Look at that. Just absolutely beautiful. Barely anywhere on the pedals or anything, or even that. Beautiful a little stick. There's a stick on there. There's a little bit of some pieces on the stuff on there, but it's really clean. The carpet's beautiful. Hazards are on? Huh, the hazard light is on. Don't know why. And <laughs> the car's off. Seats are just beautiful. I didn't do anything, but if you wanted this fixed, I could have this piece repaired. I'd do both of them, maybe. It's getting some fold over there, but that's the only actual tear in it. Um, these are in great shape. Um, I had a headliner put in. New headliner, in great shape. Uh, key has to be on for that. Pop the hood. Uh, show you this. Forward. Backward. Up. Down. Up in the front. Down in the front. Up in the back. Down in the back. Pocket in here. Maybe I should show you the windows while I'm in the front here. There's one. There's two. When I got the car, it needed an alternator. When I got that repaired, so there's all the windows. 10-23-12 at 72-750. Um, change counter is all good still. Okay, and I think I had Man, I think somebody took them is what I think. I had books. I tell you what, I had books. That makes me angry. I know I had books. That really makes me angry. Oh, uh, Dash, I lose track of what I'm showing you when I get <laughs> angry and I'm like, what the heck was I doing? Drop my gold keys there. Gold keys on the Beverly Hills Cavalier. The back seats don't even look to have ever been set in. And I'm sure maybe somebody did, but they were very nice to it. Gold coin. Oh no, the piece to the front from the other one that fell off. Oh, these right here. I could have this pulled out and stitched if you wanted. Um, you could throw a blanket over it. There's a split there. But these are splitting up the seams. Package tray's in great shape. Somebody must have had a mobile phone. The old school mobile phone. Oh, there's that piece. 
See, I knew we had a nice piece for it, but that'll just come with it. Carpet's in great shape, underneath the mat even. Hey, here's your build codes. I know it's not a Trans Am or a GTO or something. Oh man, I got a little bit too smeared. You can see what you can see though, huh? Spare tire and all is in there. I don't know if the guy even had it out. Beautiful. Okay, well, that's that. And I'm here now. Oh, let's get this seat. Let me show you the cockpit view. It's a great car, beautiful car. And I do like, look at that, all leathered out, dang it all. I do like a Cadillac. Let's look at this one back here. One owner, okay, 11 to 29, scored a 49, for about twice the high score. Um, all the mileage checks out both here and here, by the year from 89 to 97, it got 48, and then they just drove it a couple thousand miles a year. Um, every year up to 68 and then 7027 and 7047 and 314 I think it's about 70,100 or so or an hour something like that I'll put this in the glove box for you got the hood open we'll show you in there great little economical car <laughs> I always want to find a gold coin someday I'm gonna find one it's gonna be live. Well, yeah, I quit. Something like that. Joel, Joel Rats. A little bit of discoloration there. Ah, if you smooth it over, it's not almost. Joel Rats, test drive junkie. He likes these too. Not even used. The guys at the auction sometimes light a cigarette or two up on them. Ticks me off to no end, man. Thing I've been used this whole life if someone goes and uses it. God, it's pretty in there. Just looks great. Doors are nice and tight. They don't sag and such. Uh, this give you a little bit of a, you know what? I'm gonna give you a walk around in this nighttime view here. Okay. This my, I've got so many cars. I lose track of how the hood latches work sometimes. It's absolutely beautiful under here. Dang it, and I pulled that light to put in the other one, so it needs a light bulb. Look at this. Just clean as can be. Love the intake on these. When I was younger, I just thought it was a supercharger. It looks like a supercharger, right? It looks like a big supercharger. Whoa, that one's got a big supercharger, Dad. No. Classy car, classy car. And very economical. So, let's do a walk around. Actually, man, I wish I could just get some good pictures just like this to where I didn't have to open the hood again. But guaranteed, they're not going to be as good as if I took them the correct way. Hood insulation is good. Got a couple pieces missing there. I want to give you this walk around here. I'll take my outside pictures and head on back to the house. Beautiful car. I know I've said that a lot, but it is. It, it stands out today from all the round stuff on the road. And you can buy it at a fraction of the cost, get the same fuel economy, and buy a vacation house. How's that? Good investment cars. And these aren't going down in value. Can I show you this little crunch here on this piece? This needs to be rebent on top of that piece there. Like so. There we go. And see if you stretch that out when you maybe even lay a piece of something on it, it'll even out even more. Actually, I just did that halfway fixed it actually it's sticking up there you can tell 
plastic welding. Have you ever done that? I bought a plastic welder and it works great. If I can get that one piece popped under there, it'll stay down. I'm gonna set this down for a second. One owner, carguy.com. And sit here messing around with this stuff. Wow, I can't get it. Almost got it. It's just too much for no, oh, for no tools. But it's a lot straighter now. Dang it, man. That's why my hands are always messed up and dirty. Okay, well, that's that. Actually, this thing clips me off at about 17 minutes. 15.39. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off, say goodbye, take my pictures, turn it on again, go for a test drive, and that's that. Subscribe, comment, like, all that good stuff. And check out testdrivejunkie.com. And Joel, let's do something, man. I know you need one of these little Beverly Hills Cavaliers. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. I'll be back in a second. Well, I'm back with you. It's time for a test drive. Got my gold keys. You know, I noticed this. And I wanted to show you just how clean that seal is. Oh, man, that's clean. Locking fuel tank, by the way. And that thing there, dent. I don't know if I showed you that. I did when I went by there, I think. Well, that's the deal. That's the little Cavalier. Cavalier. That's right. Beverly Hills Cavalier. So, Cimarron, man. I got a Cavalier, too. And it sure is stripped down. And they drive different. I think they got a little bit different suspension technology to them. Well, let's take off and get on the road. And you can see here, the top is in great shape. No all tour or weather rotten or nothing. Worst of it's just a little bit of the threads there. Not even broke off yet, though. Well, we're out of here. That's all there is to it. Huh, hazard light is not on no more. Nice, cold AC. Now, you know what? To where I tell you, this here works fine. And when you go somewhere, um, every 10th time, I guess, sometimes, it all just reads zeros. And then when you, when it comes back to you, or starts working, um, it reads like it's went everywhere it went. But at the same time, it was zeros and now it's back type of thing. Peppy little cars, man. No hesitation there, buddy. Ooh, and you let off and it lets off. And I would turn this down, but it feels so nice right now. So nice. Let's go ahead and turn it down though. There is a little bit of too much to where you can hear what I'm rambling about. Ooh, buddy, let's go. Well, one owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com, and you know what, oh that's on the AM channel there, wow, learn what's going on down here. Dog walking day. Well, it's a beautiful car. I've said that a lot. It is, look. You can only see that sunlight shadow over there. A little bit of discoloration on the wheel right there. I like to make sure I'm in front about everything. Deal. I'm gonna switch to FM. And all the stereo works there. Um, turn it off. There's her. We went one mile on each. Maybe I can get it to shut off again. For you. I'd like you to see it both ways. I mean, it's working now. Amazingly enough, when I'm coming through this, 
<laughs> I'm not the type of person that's gonna be like, oh yeah, it works great, yeah, and then you get it and it doesn't, you know, <laughs> I'm not gonna sell it like that. Oh, buddy, that is some power. You gotta let off or you're speeding. That's all there is to it. Start spinning rubber. Like right now. And it is not reading them, man. It's restarting them when it does that. So I don't know how and when. Let me get that auto check back out, too. But it's restarting them over. I don't know why. How, when, where? I know it runs awesome. There's a nice 77 Deville I got coming up. Gonna set this bad boy just like this. And see, it did it again. Some kind of short or something. Look at this. And this just started doing this. Let's see. 09 66021 11 68 157 70,013. So it's all working and driving about the same amount, a couple thousand miles a year. Um, and I believe the miles are right around what they are, but it's just doing that little odd thing right now. And you can tell everywhere that the car just has no wear on it and now well, that's that one owner car guy .com. beautiful car and you could do some stuff to it if you wanted to you could leave it like it is and just drive it man so well I'm gonna get my shadow right in it to where all you can see is my shadow in it and that's just not what we're looking for one owner car guy .com. you can reach me anytime at 406 544-6919. Lots of cars, trucks, and SUVs coming up. And comment, subscribe, share, like, all that good stuff. It'll raise your IQ if you share this video. Well, thanks for watching. Have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. We'll talk to you. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Look at them fog lights. Nothing else I can think of. That's it. One owner car guy .com. Oh, Beagle's Pocket.com. Gotta talk about breeder. Thanks for watching. We'll see you.